Hi, my name is Tom Hattie and I'm the author and creator of this new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Now we're looking at the celebrated uh, middleweight um, competitor, Kamzat Kamaev. Now this is an interesting competitor. Um, he's had approximately um, eight or nine matches in the UFC. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's had eight matches in the UFC. Um, six, six good wins um, with a notable win, UFC 273 against Gilbert Burns. It was a unanimous decision. Um, Kamayev wasn't able to finish Burns. And I think he took Burns on maybe one year too early. Burns would cause any great MMA practitioner problems. He walked through Kevin Holland and then he had to face his first big test in UFC 294. He took on the ex-world Nigerian world champion Kamara Usman. Now Kamara Usman had defended his uh, world championship many times. Um, he's not without health challenges and he has long-term problems with his knees. Now Kamara Usman took the fight on two weeks notice. Uh, he was able and Kamara was able to get the decision but Kamara Usman with a full training camp may have had chances against uh, Kamayev. Now the big victory of course for Kamayev is his 308 victory against Robert Whittaker. Now most people had an inner intuition that Kamayev would beat Whittaker, but there were enough seasoned commentators who thought and suggested that Rick, um, Whittaker had a lot of strengths that would make it very difficult for Kamayev. It, it turned out it was pretty straightforward for Kamayev to win in the first round with a face crank submission. Now, we know that Kamayev is 14-0 as a MMA practitioner, eight contests with the UFC. What's not known is that he's a formidable wrestler. He's had 24 senior freestyle uh, matches. He is 24-0 as a freestyle wrestler, and he is 14-0 as a UFC MMA practitioner. This was UFC 308. This is Whitaker on the left, the ex world champion. This is um, Kamayev on the right, future world champion, I believe. This is Kamayev on the left against the ex-world champion, Kamara Usman. Now, let's think about the strengths and weaknesses of Kamayev. Well, he has powerful striking. He's got a strong striking game. He has enormous grappling expertise. He is an exceptional wrestler and grappler. He knows how to take his opponents down and control them on the ground. Now he knows how to operate at different weight classes. Sometimes he always doesn't always manage it well. Maybe there are health factors here, but he has fought competitively at both welterweight and middleweight. Um, he has a very aggressive fighting style. When he starts at the beginning of round one, his pace and pressure is overwhelming. Many opponents find it literally and actually overwhelming. Now, not only does he have this supreme wrestling grappling skill set, he has a variety of idiosyncratic, well-designed submission techniques, which means that when he's wrestling and grappling gets you down to the ground and he knows how to control you there, he knows how to apply the submission techniques. What about his weaknesses? There are some. Now, we've said that he has a, this in quite incredible pace, but he has shown some signs of difficulties in the latter rounds. He's had some, when he's ventured into round four, round five, he's struggled a little bit with endurance in longer fights. And this can certainly be a disadvantage against well-conditioned opponents. Now, we know he's had 24-0 uh, experience in wrestling, grappling and freestyle wrestling. He is 14-0 as a MMA practitioner, including 8-0 as a UFC practitioner. And that's an impressive record but he has faced only maybe two high quality world-class um, MMA practitioners. Uh, Gilbert Burns, I think is also very close to being the, you know, a very high quality practitioner. Uh, he has health concerns. He seems to overtrain and when he overtrains, he creates health issues. He has some lingering effects on the COVID-19 which affected training, fighting schedules, etc. Now, currently, I think he lives in Dubai, but in recent years, he's been training at the All-Star Training Center in Stockholm, Sweden. And he was there since he was 23. So he moved there in 2017, so he was there full-time for six years. He was training with Alexander Gustafsson. Now, Alexander Gustafsson is a world-class um, light heavyweight. Uh, absolutely phenomenal 
phenomenal um, MMA practitioner. So um, Kamayev has trained a lot with him, also with Ilya Latifi, and he's currently trained by uh, Reza Madadi, his main trainer. Now let's think about the total package. So we know that Kamayev often employs his freestyle wrestling to take opponents to the ground. Once in top control, he uses various techniques to dominate and land heavy ground and pound or seek submission. He's always applying this pressure. His grappling style has some similarities to Khabib's um, because Khabib uses the handcuff lock and, and hooking the legs and so does Kamayev. Now, in, during his first two UFC bouts, Kamayev's striking was 1-9-2-2. Two, two. That's a phenomenal uh, statistic. He's also demonstrated its effectiveness on the regional circuit, achieving a quick victory over former two-time GH GHSA wrestling champion, Sidney Wheeler. Now, beyond grappling, Kamayev also utilizes his striking seals. Now, these are relatively unknown and untested, but his striking features heavy knockout power from an orthodox stance basic boxing and mixing up kicks. He uses his wrestling to set up strikes by feinting different takedowns and vice versa. This strategy enabled Kamayev to knock out UFC veteran Gerald Mishart in 17 seconds with a single punch. He's also used it to drop past opponents on the regional circuit, including former combat Sambo world champion Ikram Ashkarov. I think with uh, Kamza Kamayev, we are looking at a former world, at a, 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 a world champion in the future.